Hey all, hope you all are doing well. Yesterday's video was about effect on the world economic due to coronavirus. Pandemic link will be in the description box. Today's topic is about the effect on the environment due to COVID-19. Without any further ado, let's begin. When India shut down last month and suspended all transport to contain the spread of coronavirus, the skies over its polluted cities quickly turned an azure blue and the air unusually fresh. Delhi and 13 other Indian cities feature on a list of the world's 20 most polluted. It is estimated that more than a million Indians die every year because of air pollution. Dr. Gurtikonda and his team of researchers looked at the data spewed out by the 100 odd air quality monitoring stations all over India. They decided to concentrate on the capital Delhi and its suburbs. A massive sprawl for the national capital region where more than 20 million people live. Last winter, air pollution here had reached more than 20 times the World Health Organization's safe limit. To put this into context, between 2017 and 2019, the monthly average of PM 2.5 in the capital was up to four times higher. The national standard is set at 40 and the WHO has an annual average guideline of just 10 micrograms per cubic meter. If 35 is the average lowest available PM 2.5 with limited local emission, it means that at least 70% of the pollution is locally generated, Mr. Gutigonda told me. People from Beijing to Delhi to Los Angeles have noticed bluer skies and less haze as lockdowns were imposed for the pandemic. But this year is still on track to be the hottest year on record. Why is the air getting cleaner, yet warmer? Satellite observations of nitrogen dioxide, a byproduct of burning fossil fuels, show that levels of that air pollutant are going down. Clear skies also tell us that there is less particulate matter in the air. Particles are tiny bits of soot and other substances floating in the air. Particles reflect away sunlight, so paradoxically fewer particles might mean more warming. But while those pollutants stay in the air for days, the heat-trapping gas carbon dioxide remains in the atmosphere for centuries. Carbon dioxide levels will only stabilize when emissions fall into a net-zero balance with sinks of the gas, like vegetation and oceans. Even with declines in CO2 this year, the Earth is nowhere near achieving that balance. China tried to clean up its air several times before hosting murky international events like the Beijing Olympics in 2008, the World Expo in Shanghai, and the Guangzhou Asian Games in 2010, before sliding back to grey, smoky skies. But many believe the 2014 APEC meeting in Beijing, when China hosted 21 heads of Asia-Pacific economics, was a turning point. The rare blue skies over Beijing spawned the phrase epic blue. In a rush to clean its air, China introduced a set of far-reaching measures. Over the next four years, this resulted in a 32% drop in average pollution across major Chinese cities.
learn lessons to deploy the economic recovery from the pandemic. We need growth, jobs and sustainable development, says Dr. Ghosh. Cleaning up the air could be the key. For too long, India and Indians have ignored their right to breathe easily.